Hey everyone, for our ECE 453 project, we have done a three-dimensional persistence of vision display. Here we have the volumetric display. As you can see, it spins about a central axis, and the boards are all mounted at a different radius to give the three-dimensional effect. Attached to the display is a Hall effect sensor, which when it passes through a magnet, detects a full rotation. Each PCB contains 24 LEDs in the front and back, giving a wide viewing angle. Around back, you can see a motor. This will spin the display at approximately 1500 RPM, which will display an image at a constant 25 FPS. In order to display different images on the device without running special cables through the axle, we designed our PCB around the TI CC430 microprocessor, which contains an integrated RF transceiver module. This gives us the capability to configure the panels to receive packets of information wirelessly, which encode changes to the colors and patterns that are then displayed. Each panel is given a unique address, which allows a separate master panel to talk to each one individually. With this framework in place, we can use the arms together to display three-dimensional images. Here you can see the use of one arm. It is somewhat limiting to what you can do, such as displaying a text message. However, with the use of multiple arms, you are able to display more complex images, such as a cube-shaped object like the one you see here. For those wondering, the center axle is actually made up of two axles divided in a separate ground and VCC planes. The board is powered at the top through a Mercatec slip ring, which allows deliverance of current to a spinning device. The bottom has a metallic brush connected to ground, making contact with the base axle. The two are attached by a set of non-conducting couplers, which are used to keep the planes apart. The image is stable with the use of Hall effect sensors and magnets. However, if you take the magnets away, the display starts to rotate at different speeds, as you can see here. And this is it for our presentation of the Persistence of Vision Display. Thank you for watching.